check out Chaos Cards for awesome prices and products. Ruth here, and I will be opening the newest set, which is Sun and Moon Ultra Prism. Now, <clears throat> as you probably realize, I skipped the last one because I didn't quite like it, and the pull rates weren't really worth getting the box for. So. I decided to get this one instead because also it has the uh, Prism Star cards and it has a couple evolutions that I can add to my EV page in my binder. Let's gear it here there. As, I, as you saw, the, uh, the Dawn Wings and the Dusk Wings, I believe. And I just call it like, just possessed ones, really. But. Anyway, so here is the back. You got the lovely logo. I think it's really pretty, this. You got the two legendaries, well, possessed legendaries. And yeah, so let's read this, or shall I take off the, uh, the wrapping so you can see it better without all these pokeballs getting in the way. Uh, okay. I'll have to retake a picture of it with all the uh, wrapping off. As you know, the official, like, plastic wrap, cling film, like, it's not really cling film, but, you know, it's plastic. So I'll throw that over there. Now you can see it better, and it's super shiny. It does look much better with it off, you can see it much better. I said, I said the word better quite a few times in that little thing. Very cute. Anyway, here we have, so you can get it all in one, yeah. An unknown new dimension passed through the ultra wormhole into a bizarre new Pokemon world where familiar sights become strange and new powers are unlocked. Watch Necrozma's power grow and marvel as brand new Prism Star cards reveal their astounding effects on play. Meet Dialga GX and Palkia GX and encounter bizarre ultra beasts and wild new forms of Alola's legendary Pokemon. Explore the new dimension in the Pokemon TCG Sun and Moon Ultra Prism expansion. And it's normal blah blah down here. And as you know, if I get See, I do still need to save up some codes for something else, but um, I will at least give away, let's see, three? At least three, shall we say. At least three. But we'll see, since it is quite a few. Very pretty. So pretty. I mean, that, that's like a good, that would be a good background on its own too, wouldn't it? Anyway, I don't want to bend it either, because I do stick it in my... I stick it in my, uh, thingy, what's it called? My, uh, I can't think of the words now. My, um, scrapbook, yes. So, we'll do, part one is the other side, part two will be the other side. So, let's show you which Let's see, there is the Leafeon. Very cute. We have the Giratina. It always looked weird to me. But, um, then we have a Dawnwing Necrozma and the Duskmane Necrozma. The mane and the wing is obvious, but like, you'd think the Dusk would be like there and the Dawn there, but unless it's like, instead of the dawn, like when the moon finishes, and the dusk is when the sun finishes, I guess that's maybe how they put it. But anyway, I'm going to do a quick few pictures, and we'll get on with the video. Okay, let's do this. So hopefully I can uh, finish recording at least part one before I have to take the dinner out of the oven. Okay, so I uh, need to snip it for the first few for my collection scrapbook 
shopping thingy. So I'll do the first four, so I know I've done the four. Okay, I probably cut a little chunk out because you didn't need to see me snipping these eight packs because I keep, you know, the pack art. Eh, come on, open. So fiddly right now. Alright, let's just put a leafy on over there. Right. So it's metal energy. Craniodos. Fire memory. Bronzong. Gibble. Scoropi. Licky Licky. Lick tongue. We got a Chimchar. Very nice artwork there. I think Pokemon Evolutionary said that it was a uh, previous artwork. Uh, Simeon. Awesome! On the first pack, we have a Darker Eye Prism Star Star Prism card. Yes, that's the word. And as you see, it is in the reverse section, as you probably know by now by watching other people open. And we have a Shaman non hollow but still a very pretty card. Ah. Uh, I need to remember how if I sort if I sort the cards now, I won't forget why I put them later. So because I keep, you know, legendaries in a separate folder. And I keep those separately. Okay. So we have a clean thing. I'll need to get a sleeve for that one. And since I keep my sleeves in, you know, my Elite Trainer boxes, because I mean it's 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 very handy that way. So as you see, we have a KMC perfect fit. It doesn't slip out of my hand. And this is very cool. Awesome first pack. And because it is a shiny, shiny, special type of card, I will put it in a shiny, shiny sleeve. Like that. Plus, it's a legendary, so I would probably go in a shiny sleeve anyway. I kind of forgot the code. I kind of. It's not really color coding, because it's not really colors, but I, you know. Alright, that is awesome. Very rainbowy like. If you do want to know, the sleeve I have is this one right now. I'm going through the sleeves because, <laughs> yeah. I'm just going through them. I'll just put them back up there. Okay, so I will keep that there. Or should I keep it standing? I'll have it standing over here for now. Okay, we have the Giratina. Z-Pack artificial hover over there, not that you can see it. Two, four. Okay, we've got Fighting Energy. Cynthia. Shuffle your hand into your deck and draw six. Pretty good. A Cosmoem. Bronzong. A lovely Piplup, which I think you said was a Redo, maybe. Not sure. But very, very blue. Snover. Murkrow. Gibble. Dewpider. Ooh, a reverse Alolan Sand Slash. That's very pretty. And our rare is. Um, let me just put this off to the side. Because I'm not using as big of a box as my uh, table at the moment. So then bear with me, if you will. Okay. And a Toxicroak. Non hollow rare. I didn't uh, There you go. Um, reverses. I can't remember. Uh, I don't really sleeve reverses, I don't think. So, I just put them in a separate pile. So, I guess I'll keep it over in the corner here. You can't see it, but I can. So, okay, good. So, I'm hoping I didn't. I actually cut it all the way through. Okay. So then we got our the 
that one over there. Two, four. And we've got fire energy. It's fire in the house. Alright. Um, okay. Honchcrow. Monferno. Pokemon Fan Club with an alternate art. Very uh, cute uh, Pikachu onesie there. Wait, no, is it a Pichu onesie? It might be Pichu, actually. I, or it's Pikachu. Well, they're both tiny, so. Um. Glamio. Snowbird. Hippopotas. With a huge mouth and very blunt looking teeth. We got a Shinx. Ooh, evolutionary advantage. Where was that? A do And we got a mount coronet for our reverse. And awesome. We have a Cresselia. Very pretty. I think she's one of my favorite legendaries because she's, you know, moon based and I like moon things. If that makes any sense whatsoever. So these are, th I think I put them in these normal Ultra Pro ones. So you can know there's not a perfect fit because obviously, see, it's you got the extra at the top. But uh, I think I use these ones for these because they're. I don't want to cover that up because they're um, not like the EX or full things. Am I making any sense whatsoever? I'm not sure. Okay, so let's put these with the rest. Leave those there. Okay, uh, six. I think I've got enough time to do the ones I've already opened. And I will be back when I have to pause the video because I'll have to take the sausage cocktail sausages out of the oven. Hey, ooh, lightning energy. Ooh, we got electric memory. <laughs> Go with the lightning energy. Ooh, I saw a shiny. Whoops. Whoopsies. Okay, we got a float soul. Stun, uh, so, yeah. Scun tank. This is scun. Yes. It's a purple scun. Chimchar. Pachirisu. Skoropi, Young Goose, and uh, Trump. <coughs> and we have a Cherubi, which this one, as you see, is like the, uh, this is the word knitted, crocheted, uh, it's like a yarn string thing, yes. Very articulate, but there we go. And we have a Yanma, reverse, and our rare is... Cool, a Silvalli GX. Not really a favorite of mine, but still, it's pretty cool. And it is like the, except for the artwork, it's the exact same as the uh, one from the box. <laughs> so, let's get them sleeve, sleeved up. I hope I pull a Leafeon and a Glaceon. I don't really mind if it's a normal or full art or whatever, but I would really like that. Those two for my uh, binder. But I would also like... Let's see. Uh, obviously, you know, the uh, legendary prisms. Or just normal. Yeah, they're, they're not as normal, but... Uh, I'm rambling. I'm not sure what I'm talking about, really. No, no clue. Okay, so uh, let's see, we have done two, four packs so far, so why not? Here you go. Ta da! And there. Okay. I am going to have to stop it now. So I'll be right back. And I'm back. <clears throat> cool. Okay. I might as well eat while I put all the dinner sorted out. So, <clears throat> so by the way, if you didn't notice, then um, that was funny. I can't count and finger talk at the same time I lose my place. <laughs> so, 
Water energy. Um, <clears throat> there will be uh, three codes in each uh, part, so there's going to be two parts, so six codes all together, you know, and don't hoard them all, at, all to yourself and, you know, share and all that good jolly stuff. So, uh, water energy, as I said, and electric memory, Turtonator, Mount Corn Cornet, Roselia, very pretty, Cosmog, Turtwig, Electabuzz, another Charuti. Ooh, and we have the Solgaleo Prism Star card. That is so cool. And we have a ooh, we have a hollow Luxray. Alright, so we need a shiny shiny sleeve along with the normal sleeve. And an ultra fit. Uh, ultra fit. Uh, ultra Perfect fit with an Ultra Pro is the normal one. Um, getting names mixed up here now. Okay, so just put this one in here. Put this one. I can't do this left handed. Here. There you go. <laughs> that, that. And double protection. And also because it looks super cool like that, we have that there. So, so far we have two prisms in the first part. So, from what I seem to recall reading, not reading, watching all of the peoples open, is that there are a total of, what, three prisms per box? So we'll see. We shall see. I'm just counting it up here because... Well, I already started anyway. I'll lose my place if I don't continue. Okay. Melody. Lopany. Let me just move these. Because, like, they're in the way. I am sitting slightly awkward from... Then from the first part. Okay. Let's put the over these over here. Two hollows, one GX. Uh, reverses. You don't really need to see the reverses, do you? So I'll just put them on my phone over there. <laughs> so, Wapani. Very cute. It's like at the, uh, what, Mad Hatter's tea party or something. Turtonator. We got Mars, which Pokemon Evolutionaries did point out that it is kind of like the same artwork is just zoomed out. We got Shinx, Yanma, Bronzor, Gibble, lovely Roselia. Ooh, we got a Roserade. Now that card you, have, you don't see very often. I mean, like, I don't really have very many. I think I have one non hollow one, but that, that's about it. <laughs> This is a nice rare reverse and a shenotic, a non hollow rare. It's very weird glowing mushroom, which you shouldn't eat because it's probably poisonous. Right. So, almost to our eighth one. This is, I think, our seventh. Yeah, our seventh pack. This is. Ooh, enlisted leaf energy. <clears throat> Grass. Yan Mega. Okay, finally getting an evolved form of that guy. A Purgly. It's like a fat cat, that one. I ate too much kibble. Uh, a skunk. Murkrow. Ooh, that's pretty cool. You, got, you see the wormhole in the back. Now that's pretty. Cute. This is a palette of friends. Ten damage for each different type of Pokemon on your bench. Hmm, that's cool. So many Eevees all dancing around. So pretty. Aww, that, that's pretty cute. <laughs> Just his little eyes. <laughs> Happy smile. So 
Alolan Vulpix. Not very uh, much of a thing, but he has an automatic attack that doesn't cost anything. I think that's what it means. So that's pretty cool. Uh, mini skunk. Skunky. Uh, Trump Jr. Ooh, an order pad. That looks pretty cool. If only I had a computer like that, that'd be cool. Okay. So, where is... Ooh, yay, our first Rotom of the box. A Frost Rotom. I believe they have all of them, or at least most of them, in this. So let's see if I can full, pull, full, pull the full set. <laughs> That'd be cool. I like collecting those type of things. So let's make another separate stack <laughs> from the already increasing loads of stacks on this little side box here. So, doink. There we go. Pack number eight. So, this should be it for all of the uh, pack art saved for my brother. He does his own stuff. Okay. Actually, should I keep it there or not? I'll just keep this over here. There we go. Lovely splayed about. Yeah, that looks, that looks a bit better, doesn't it? Okay, hopefully the battery does not die by the die time I'm done with most of these. Okay, so real loop. Grow up. Ooh, this is a different EV art. That's very cute. Lolan Vulpix playing in the snow. A Lolan Diglett just staring off at the sunset there. We got a Chimchar. Reverse, and I did not do the pack trick. Go, oh, great. Uh, okay. Let me just, uh, one second. <laughs> So that's the reverse, so I'll just put four to the front, and uh, we'll, think, we'll pretend it never happened. Okay, so Psychic Energy. <laughs> Ooh, we got him on Inferno. An unidentified fossil with a HP of 60. That's pretty cool. Play this card as if it was a 60 HP normal basic Pokemon. At any time during your turn, before your attack, you may discard this card from play. This card can't retreat. That's pretty cool. So like these are like old fashioned uh, with the HP because normally they don't have one. And it's like so with the items. Punch crew. And obviously our <laughs> reverse Shinjar. And where is a Roserade? Non hollow. <laughs> As I've been going on the few packs over, that I only had a non hollow one. Okay, now let's, let's get down to this. I said let's get down to it, but it won't open. Okay. Aha! Here we Three, four. And dark energy. Ooh! Pretty good. I do collect, or try to collect all energies that I can. And this is unit energy with the basic water, fire, and grass. So cool. This card provides normal energy. While this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides the grass, fire, and water energy, but provides only one energy at a time. So that's pretty cool. Cosmoem, Looker, so this is a new one. Draw three cards from the bottom of your deck. So not the top of your deck, but the bottom. Hmm, this should be interesting. A Krogunk, Bronzor, Gable, Patrisa, Vienna. Ooh, we got a unit energy for the, uh, it's a reverse. Ooh, I hope I get the reverse for the other one. But, uh, this one is the reverse for trying to talk and do something at the same time. That's not good. Um, <clears throat> for the metal, electric, and psychic. 
and obviously this one is just provides one energy at a time. So this is awesome. And where is an Alolan Executor? I don't have one of any kind. So that is cool. It's so... Uh, what's the right word? A derpy face or something? Alright, that's pretty cool. For a non-hollow. Now let's, let's see what this uh, possessed Sogalio has to say. Ooh, the next one. Alright. Um, since we're kind of three, four, yeah. Ooh, we got a metal energy. Alright. So, dun dun dun. That's code number two. I mean, like, if I put it one behind the other, then I might try and skip to the place and, like. Hmm. Anyway. Ooh, missing clover. So you need four of these clover things to take a prize card. This effect works one time for four cards. You have to play all four at once. Ooh, we've got a Manaphy. Is it running away from the wormhole? Or something coming out of the wormhole? Or did it come from the wormhole? That's the question. Hey, that's pretty. Lily with the rainbow in the background. This is a draw cards until you have six in your hand. If it's your first term, draw until you have eight. That's a pretty good starter. Here's the exec execute. Look at that face, it's so funny. <laughs> Continuous explosion. Nice pun there. And Magnemite. Looks like he's on the dance floor or something. The weasel. Oh, look at that cute little weasel face. Magnemite. A different artwork. <laughs> Just happily hovering in the breeze. Progunk. A reverse Bastiodon. And... And a... Yeah, but Electivire. Okay. But that's pretty cool to Volt Nuggle for 130 damage, though. That's pretty cool. Share. And next. What am I doing? Right. Ooh, Patrick. He just sprung up. <laughs> sprung up. That was very bad. Ignore. Uh, two, four. Flashing energy. A lowland dog trio with all of that hair. <laughs> a skateboard. <laughs> Retreat card. <coughs> <coughs> I think I swallowed air there. <coughs> Excuse me. The retreat cost of the Pokemon. This, ignore my phone. Uh, this card is attached to is one normal less and it can retreat even if it's asleep or paralyzed. Oh, that's pretty cute. A cherim. Looks like a uh, cherry blossom, doesn't it? Uh, Torchwing. Rosalia. Gibble. Vectabuzz. Chimchar. A different art, I think, isn't it? Yeah. He has slammed it. Um, I'm guessing it's in a chandelier of some kind? With his little snarky grin there. I mean, it's up to something. And rare is... Ooh, it's a type null. I don't know if I have one of those, actually. I can't remember. Since obviously I never bought a booster box of the other set, so this might be my first time wrong, which is good, I guess, because I do have, like, two Soul Valleys of different kinds, like, anyway, so that goes down there. Hopefully we get another, uh, Legendary sometime. That would be nice. Not that I'm, you know, complaining or nothing. No, not no siree. Nope. Here we got Psychic. Pokemon Fan Club. It's very... Cute. Kuraniados. 
Marangaroo. He's, he smiles very nicely, doesn't he? The Lonely Diglett. Piplip, winking on bits of an iceberg. For some reason, whenever I see an iceberg, I just think of the Titanic sinking for some reason. But, uh, or this is similar to like a scene from uh, The Little Mermaid 2 with the penguin with the walrus thing. Yes, anyway, moving on. To land it. Pessimian. Oh, he's about to... I don't know. It's gross. He's little thing. Is it a melon or something? I don't know. Ooh, Shanks, and it's a different artwork. That's nice. Search your deck for electric energy card and attach it to this Pokemon and then shuffle your deck. That's cool. So then afterwards you do that. You can like use your... Uh, I forgot what the card was, but you switch the energy from one card to another, then you get, you know, because uh, this one doesn't actually need more than one energy, so, yeah. Ooh, you got a Piplup here, very nice reverse, and where is Heat Rotom, yay. So now we got a Frost and a Heat. I think that's an oven, is not an oven? Yeah, that's an oven, I think. Because the other one's Frost, so that would be a Freezer, I guess. So this is the oven. Where is it? Uh, yeah, it's the oven. It's not a microwave. Okay, so... Moving these down. I think this setup is a bit better than the other one, because the other one it was just... It was a bigger box I was using. But, um, it's still on the floor, I mean, but... Uh, still. I was a bit more organized on this one. So hopefully we get something good with that way that's three. Four. Yes, I shouldn't count and talk at the same time. It's it's not it's not. Ooh, I saw shininess. Ooh, water energy. Yanma. Yanmega. Sorry, I wasn't actually looking. So, Yanmega, yes. Ooh, Volcanor, another new one. Search your deck for an item card and a electric energy card. Reveal them and put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. You know, if it was proper English and that was actually a word, it would, would have been needed to be an an in electric, because A and E don't go side to side. You need to put an N in between. Why well, I'm giving you an English lesson, I have no idea. But there you go. You have it! And you can forget about it as soon as you click off the video. Now, uh, Craniatus, Drifloon, Poizel, Yolu, Gibble, Grogunk. A reverse Salopony, very pretty. And his little tea party. Her, his, its, no, oh, whatever. And awesome! Pelkia GX Full Art. Sweet! Of course, I like Diaga better because it looks cooler, but technically I like pink more than I like blue. So, it's been a bit of half and half, that is. It's, a, it's up to for debate. Okay, so. So you are finished with those. And okay, so we double protect these thingies. So we've got It's too bad they don't make a uh, dragon energy, that'd be cool. But there we go. Awesomeness. Sweet. Uh, where am I going to put this? Just put it in the middle? Yeah, just put it in the middle. Okay, so we've got... This is the fifth pack here. Even though I can see I still have to count it just in case. Because I'm not too sure when the battery died, really. Because it cuts off a weird thing and didn't actually say. But uh, I was saying... Wait, what was I saying? Oh, man. Uh... Um, yes, I was saying that even though I could see it, I'd still need to count anyways because I could be seeing wrong because I got very thick glasses and that doesn't really help sometimes. Okay, so green, unlisted leaf, grass, energy. Right, I just, you know, covered all my bases just in case. Now, uh, Gabite. I don't think I actually pulled this one, so that's good. Ooh, looker whistle. That's good. It's a new one. Search your deck for a two cards named Looker, 
Reveal them and put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Of course, this would be useful, useless if you don't have, like, two bloopers in your deck, so that, yeah, anyway. And we finally, we got our primple up. Of course, we only need the other final evolution for this guy, and we got a set. Kaleo! Ooh, this Drifloon is different than the other one. This one is also knitted or crocheted or used it's a stringy. Yes, it's a stringy one. And this is a Lolan Sandrew, which looks like its back or its whole body has used what? A shoe polish or something. Or wax or make it all little shiny shiny. Here Katas with the black teeth. Riolu. Alolan Diglett to reverse, and... Ooh, very cute. Look at that. Uh, oh, and Shaman. But <clears throat> the, uh, was it? Landform or something? So that's nice. Uh, it is a legendary. It does go into a... This one? I think? Is it? Yes? No? No, it doesn't. Ah. Or if it does, I'll, I'll change it later, <laughs> if it does. But, uh, we'll, uh... Because oh. the way I put it in my thing, I forgot. I still put it in this way. It just makes it look a bit weirder in my folder. There we go. So if I had two legendary hollows, one non-legendary hollow, Normal, like, half art GX, normal GX thingy, full art GX, two prison star cards, and we still have four packs left, so hopefully we pull something else, but leave good things at least for part number two. This will be a while until this is uploaded, because I you know I do things by schedule on YouTube, because when I do say, I will upload the, uh, what was it, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and the odd upload on Sunday, maybe, or whatever. I try not to do two videos a day. If I do, I'll put it, maybe shove it off to the next day, when, on the day I don't upload anyways, for like those news or update things, because... Yeah, you don't want it to be replacing a normal video. I mean, that's just just not on, is it? Okay, uh, electric energy, or lightning energy, yellow energy, thunderbolt thing. <clears throat> okay, get away. Yay, second mana feet. I need another one. I try and keep three of each card, then the rest goes into like bundles and stuff to sell. Whatever, ooh, Grova, Gro not Grova, Grottle. I haven't pulled that yet, so that's good, good, good stuff. More lol. More lol. That, if you look at it upside down, it looks like a mini octopus thing, with like a little hair sticking up. <laughs> but like, normal way, it's like, uh, cause the way the eyes are done, it's like those um, Mario uh, bomber thingies or something. But basically, it's a glowing mushroom thing, so don't eat it. Piplup. So land it scheming up there. Execute. Yanma. And we've got a reverse Magnemite. And... Doink. A Garchomp. Ooh, if you look closely, there's Cynthia at the background. Cool. It's always cool when they put the trainers in the background or something. So that's always nice. So we have all of the uh, Gibble, Gavite, and Garchomp evolution chain. So that is Hunky Dory. So a uh, three packs left. Hopefully, we get some good stuff. Ooh, nine more. Away. 
Okay. Fairy energy. Ooh, we have the normal version of this unit energy with the those three. We got the normal Rotom. Well, yeah, technically electric, but it's... I'm pretty sure there's a normal one too, isn't it? Okay, let's put it with the Rotom stack over there. <clears throat> Drifflin, just floating with the pedals there. Magmar. Chimchar. Sneasel, with the galactic person in the background. Licky licky, like a tongue. Carnivine, which is basically James from Team Rocket's Pokemon that always eats his head, which is always amusing to watch, really. Oh, licky licky. Okay. The proper thingy. Doesn't. I think it normally says licky licky or something like that when it's a licky tongue. So, okay, we got the next evolution form, that's good. And it's a uh, reverse. Awesome! Totally not expecting this whatsoever. Sweet! Gardenia. I was hoping, actually, for a uh, Cynthia, truth be told, but she is pretty cool. Card to pull. I mean, I haven't actually seen very many pulls of her anyway, but still, I need more of the shiny shiny since I finished using my other ones. We have gone to uh, Chapu Coco, Steve, for now. So technically, it's another full art. It's classified as a wild card. I don't know anymore. Okay, so so far this this part one is awesome. Hopefully part two hasn't been taken away from any of it. Two, four. Fire in the house. Another missing clover. So far I only have two. So I wouldn't be able to use the effect anyway for now. Primplup. And normal Gardenia. And she's, um, it says the same thing, but heal 80 damage from one of your Pokemon that has any grass energy attached to it. That's actually pretty useful. Similar to a, uh, I guess Pokemon Center Lady, but hers was, what, 60 damage on any Pokemon? This is only for grass type, because she's a grass gym leader, obviously. Oh, that's cute, Veneery. I think on my Ultra, Ultra, uh, Moon game, I have a Veneery on my team. I wanted to try and mix things up, because normally I don't have this Pokemon on my team. And it's holding a berry of some sort. Hmm. Carnivine. Sneasel relax in there. Eevee in the sunshine. Or, kind of in the grass, like underneath a tree sunshine type of sunshine. But, uh, Magmar. We got President Trump. I mean, look at the hair, really. They had, and they had to make it like, they say that they designed it before the guy got all this uh, elected and whatnot, but uh, that is so, such an uncanny resemblance, really, isn't it? Uh, in the game, I named mine Prez Trump and the youngest Trump Jr. <laughs> I couldn't think of another nickname to nickname it, so. Ooh, and it's Magirna. This is the legendary, so it will go into sleevey sleeve, but since it's not hollow graphic at all anyway. But it is legendary, so it will go into sleeve. And I'll put the other ones in a sleeve or something too. Okay, the last pack for part one. What's it gonna be? Open it up to a skunk. Skunk Junior, this is right. Two, four. And 
Okay, so let's darkness energy. A fire memory. I think I got two of those now, because I think the other one was I had two electric, I think. Grottle, so I have two of those now. That's good, that's good. Per ugly is ugly. Well, it's more chubby than ugly, but not the prettiest kitty in the, in the thing. Skunk. Per twig. It's a very thick twig, it is. Uh, Octobus. And look at that! We have a code! Right, let's, uh, Rip it up without ripping anything else. Drink. Drink. Okay. There's your whatever ASMR thing stands for. Okay. Baneary. So cute. We got a moral and reverse moral. Talk about stalking. But anyway, especially in the shiny one, you should not eat shiny glowing mushrooms that's it's not good for your health and ooh a normal non-holographic licky licky so we ended on a an okay one since i didn't have a normal one anyway so that's good all good so here is what we have let me just move to the side other bits Okay, so, so far in that first pack, we only pulled three different Rotoms, so hopefully we'll get the next however many there are. Okay, anyway, who cares about the Rotoms? Well, I do kind of, that's why I'm keeping track. But, um, we have a Hollow Shaman, Hollow Cresselia, which I think is my favorite, anyway. And a Hollow Luxray. The Hollows are nice, but I think they could have done a different type of Hollow, anyway. Okay, so those are that ones. Then, we've got the normal Soul Valley GX. I hoped it was an Evolution because I like those better than that birdie looking thing. Though, doesn't it look like, well if you've seen this part anyway, on, what was the movie? Uh, it's a cartoon movie, Disney, well it's not Disney. Uh, it's a cartoon called uh, Quest for Camelot. And the, the uh, bad guy stuck an axe with a... Uh, I guess it was a rooster, really, because it was a male. So a rooster in this, like, the vat of some potion or other, and it pops out as a, like, an axe chicken thing. So, uh, look it up, uh, Quest for Camel, uh, the axe chicken thing. It is a very funny character in the movie, anyway. So we have the Palkia GX full art. The Gardenia Full Art Trainer card. And the two awesome Prism Star... Star... Prism Star... <sighs> prism Star cards. Or Star Prism cards. There's a diamond in the middle, okay. And a star in the middle of a diamond, okay. Yes, there we go. And luckily, there are two... Uh... Two, uh... Legendaries, yes, that's the word. So we got the Dark Cry and the Solgalia. Hopefully in the next part we get a Lunala to complete the duo. That would be awesome. And yeah. So that is what we got for this part. I mean, that's totally, totally awesome. Like, I mean, having... Because this is only one part, it is a very, very good pull so far. So, two, four, five, and three follows. It's good. So, stay tuned for part two of this epic Ultra Prism box. Yes, Ultra Prism thing. Yes, you can't see it on there, but yes, there you go. Ultra Prism, because we got the rest of them packs to go. Alright, so thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more. Over now.